Good morning, everyone. It's time for doodle bug number three. Yay! So I uh, hope you're all having fun um, with the Inktober inspired challenge that we've got going. So um, grab a pen and doodle something, draw something, doesn't matter what it looks like, doesn't matter what the quality of it is, doesn't matter what your skill levels are, just grab a pen and start doodling. So I've got these little doodling sheets that I'm um, creating for you. And uh, don't forget everyone that it's supposed to be fun. So if you miss a day, don't beat yourself up. Just get back on next day and have a look at the next doodle bug sheet. So you can probably just catch up whenever you want to or just skip the ones that you don't want, it doesn't matter. The idea is to be getting your miles in the pen um, and just have some fun. Just pick up the pen, get over that fear and just pick up the pen. So here's the sheet that I've got for you today. I've drawn up this little elephant here. The prompt word for today for the Inktober 2020 is bulky. So this little elephant, I mean he's a little bulky fella, but you know, maybe he's carrying something on his back or let's just invent it as we go along. So I'm not going to do too much drawing because I want you to invent your own little magic that you're going to create on this sheet. But I'll just run you through and show you how it works if you're new. So I'll just switch the camera around so you can see over here what I'm doing. Hopefully that's clear enough for you. And what we're doing is, because it's Inktober, the idea is to just um, use an ink pen of some sort. But um, if you need this sheet, we've got this sheet that you can download. It's free of charge. There's nothing, nothing you have to pay. So um, you can just download it and get stuck in and draw with me. So all you have to do is type gimme in the comments under this live video and we'll join you into the Doodlebug group. So I've got here um, this drawing of an elephant, but I always suggest that you have a little warm up by just putting a big number, a big decorated number in here. Um, I'm just thinking of what sort of shape I might make here. So a great big huge number. And then you can decorate it with some little doodles around there. Uh, you know, maybe you can do some patterns around the outside of it. Put some decorative patterns on the inside of the number or, or in the background, or you could make it 3D if you wanted to. Really, this is just completely up to you. Just have some fun with it. got that right so it um, doesn't matter none of that matters it's just the idea is just to have some fun with this drawing exercise so there's no rules there's no um, judgment nothing like that so I always do these drawings for you in nice pale grey so you can change it around if you want so maybe you want to bring his trunk up maybe you want him to be a lucky elephant with his trunk up you can just draw his trunk up there if you're a beginner, you maybe you just want to keep it really simple and just draw a bit of a, um, maybe he's got a decorated cloth over his back, one of those beautiful decorated rugs on his back. So I've got lots of um, inspiration ideas in here. So if you're a beginner, you could um, shift where his legs are, um, shift his trunk, draw a little doodle pattern of a pretty rug on his back there. Uh, if you're a bit more advanced, you might want to do some fun things like making it a three-dimensional elephant, like putting some crosshatch shading in there to get nice shading and 3D effect on it. Or you might, if you're advanced and you've been drawing for a little while, you might want to just create a bit of an environment around there and um, draw a little bit of jungle all around. You know, you can put the, the ground in here, maybe there's some shadow under the elephant. Um, and draw some trees and goodness knows maybe he's in a jungle maybe he there's his mother standing behind him you draw the mother elephant in or maybe there's a little person here um, saying hello to the elephant or maybe it's one of the little boys that uh, bonded with the elephants for life and 
um, in the elephant rescue parks um, and the boys leading the elephant around. So I want you to have fun with that. I'm not going to do the drawing for you today, but um, I want to see what creativity you come up with. And if you ha are already in the Doodlebug group, then um, share what you've come up with today in the group and I'll share mine as well. And I want to just tell you another tip. Oh, this is a pigment pen that I've been using. But also, if you're a beginner and you just want to play around a little bit and you're not really, you're a bit nervous about drawing straight away in ink, there's nothing that says you can't draw things in pencil first. I'm just lightly drawing some sort of jungly, foresty things. Maybe there's some trees up here. And sort of there's going to be a kind of a big mad jungle all around the outside here of the elephant and some bushes around here but what you can do is if things go wrong you can erase the pencil out and then once you've finished your plan I'm not sure if you can see how well you can see this um, with the pale pencil on it but I've got an eraser you can use an eraser to adjust your lines like if you don't like this line that's down here I um, just use an eraser change it once it's finished and you like it then you go over in ink and you can rub the pencil out so that's um, in the inktober challenge that's going on all around the world right now that's sort of part of the how you do it you can easily draw things in pencil first maybe I want to draw how this decorative um, blanket goes over the little baby elephant maybe it's got some straps underneath and maybe it's got a nice pattern in here um, so I'll just draw some little outlines of what the kind of rough design is of the thing and maybe my lines are a little bit crooked so I can just use the eraser to fix them up and change them so the eraser that I've got here is just a really fun little it's called a paper mate e eraser and it's a retractable eraser so it clicks like a click pencil um, it's quite a fun way to use an eraser so that's what I'm using so I can just erase out this line here and then when I go over in ink I can fix everything up so and then of course you can just rub it out later and it looks like you've done it right off the bat and it makes you look very very clever when you do that and we that's a great thing if you know all the tricks to make your drawings look very clever and skilled and no one is going to be the wiser that you've used pencil first so there's a bit of a bush hanging out behind here maybe there's another little bush around here there's a bush here so once you get a bit more confident, you can just go straight in with the ink. But of course, once this is dry, then you can just rub out the pencil. So I just wanted to give you that as a tip for today before I sign off, because it's really good if you're a beginner and you're just a little bit nervous working with ink straight away. There's nothing wrong with drawing with pencil first and then doing the ink in afterwards. I'm just rubbing out the pencil. So that's your doodle bug for today. I hope you have lots of fun with this one. I want you to use lots of creativity with it. And I can't wait to see what you come up with. Don't forget to comment gimme below in the video and I will um, give you this free downloadable for the doodle bug for today. Thanks for watching.